Hey there and welcome or welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we discuss mental health with a focus on borderline personality disorder and dissociative identity disorder. My name is Shell, I'm the host of our DID system and today we're gonna to talk about the DID community. Now, throughout the video, I'm going to be referencing the DID community, but I wanna make it clear that I am including OSDD systems in this as well. OSD systems are just as valid as DID systems and should be included. Now, having said that, let's talk about race. This is a topic that we've avoided because we're not sure where our place in the conversation is. We are a mixed bodied system, half black, half white. We think the topic is important, but it does trigger our trauma regarding race. We're also not sure if we should even be speaking. Are we black enough to speak to the black experience? Or does our light skin privilege mean we should just shut up and listen? This has been an ongoing struggle for us when it comes to any conversation about race. But we've decided it's time to throw our voice into the fray. For one thing, the topic of race continues to float around and people aren't seeming to get it. For another, we recently saw a black creator we follow decide to stop making content because they felt like there was no place for them in the DID community. So let's tackle that first. While there is growing diversity, the overwhelming majority of systems in the community are white bodied systems. I'm sure there are multiple nuanced reasons for this, but here's the way we see it. For starters, people of color have systematically been left out of psychiatric research. Most research around mental illness is centered around white males. So our diagnostic tools do not take into account cultural differences in any meaningful way. Because of this, people of color are less likely to one, be identified as having a mental illness and two, be properly diagnosed. This is also probably the reason why mental illness is a smaller discussion in communities of color. If our people aren't being identified, then how are we supposed to know anything about it? People with mental illness are often just brushed aside as being odd or special. I've heard, oh, he's just a little touched or you know how he is. Combine that with the fact that DID is meant to be a hidden disorder, then it's no wonder systems of color are being overlooked. So what does that mean for the community? Is the DID community overtly racist? Well, I'm sure that's going to depend on who you ask. To us, it seems that most white systems are outwardly accepting of all races in the same way that most white people are these days, but they haven't unpacked their white privilege. This means that the racism in the community is seen in microaggressions and cultural insensitivity. Most systems don't mean any harm, but they don't realize the harm that they are causing. And quite frankly, it's not the job of systems of color to point that out. Being a person of color comes with its own racial trauma, one that white people cannot understand. The same thing is true of systems. People of color are, quite frankly, fed up. We personally have been through and facilitated cross-cultural trainings and anti-racism trainings. We hit our racial fatigue during the height of the BLM movement. We were disheartened by the number of white friends that were passively racist. We got burned out trying to educate them. And we found out we are at least black enough that white people don't listen to us. In the year 2023, there are plenty of anti-racism resources online. If you don't understand something, Google it. Learn what a microaggression is. Look into why being colorblind is not anti-racist. Research the history between law enforcement and communities of color. There are also plenty of creators of color online who do put in the emotional labor and speak about their experiences. We know that this is exhausting. If you really want to learn about the non-white experience, support these creators and give them some appreciation. White systems are not going to experience the same thing black systems do. We can see it in how black system creators get dogpiled on the minute they say something that somebody doesn't agree with or how the TikTok algorithm suppresses people of color's content. Let's talk about the dogpiling. I'm not saying this doesn't happen to white systems. I know it does. And the dogpiling in the DID community is a whole other topic. What I am saying is that the systems of color get more hate. The vitriol that is left in the comments can be racially charged. And white systems don't want to listen when systems of color tell them that something is racist. Which brings us to the other topic of race in the DID community, alter race. For those who may not be aware, there have been cycles of this argument on Twitter and TikTok. Can alters be a different race from the body? By the way, the answer is no. 
let me explain. This topic requires some nuance and the recognition that language is important. Do people with DID choose what their alters look like? Typically, no. Alters exist for a reason, and part of that reason often includes inner world appearances that do not match the body. So simply put, it is not your fault if you are a light-skinned body and you have an alter in your inner world that appears darker than the body. However, this does not mean that alter is black. Because the body is white, the lived experience of every alter is going to be white. You have not experienced the institutionalized racism, the systematic marginalization, or the disenfranchisement of being a person of color. These are systems of power that affect every single part of our lives. You cannot separate it from the racial experience. You also cannot claim to be part of a culture that you don't belong to. That is appropriation. Remember that your brain has created alters based on what it has experienced externally. So any alter that has the appearance of another race is likely going to be based off of stereotypes and misinformation. You don't have the lived experience. So for an alter to claim they belong to an ethnicity that the body does not is extremely disrespectful to those of us who have had racism color our entire lives. What you've seen on TV is not enough for an interject to claim that culture. Race and racism is a very sticky topic to navigate. During the learning process, you are almost guaranteed to offend somebody. The important part is to learn from your experience. And I mean actively learn. Don't just sit and wait for information to come to you. It's not an easy subject, but it is worth the work. Please understand that this is our stance on the topic. We do not speak for all systems of color. We do not speak for all mixed race systems. We can only speak for our system. Something that is okay to us may not be okay to other people. Listen, understand, and respect. Until next time, take care and stay well.